Hi everyone, it's Andrew. Welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be our colouring haul. So it's books and supplies that I got in the month of March. So all sorts of things um, that I picked up. So the first thing I got, we'll start with the supplies as always, is I got the Sakura Jelly Roll, Jelly uh, Glaze in the red. Um, so that's really nice actually. I've used it once and it doesn't look too bad and you'll see that um, in my completed pages because I used it this month. Okay, as usual, I've picked up some more um, of the, my favourite gel pens which is the Link Shine. I do buy other ones so I like the some of the different colours. For instance, there's only a dark green in here like I like one. I bought a 10 pack of oranges. I wanted a 10 pack of dark blue. I think it was dark blue but they didn't have them so I just bought three packets of the assorted 10. Um, I don't need any more for a while, that'll keep me going. I'll keep an eye on eBay just to see if they get the um, 10 in again with just the one colour. And then if they do, I will obviously uh, get some. Now, I picked up some pens from Lidl's. These are called Crea Box Marabou um, Sketch Pens. So these ones are alcohol markers and there's four in each pack and these ones are watercolour markers and there's eight in the pack and they're the same colours but one sets uh, watercolours and one sets um, alcohol markers so this is the watercolour one and I'll, I'll just show you they are double ended and they're just like these so you've got a very thin nib or a, a tip there and then you've the, uh, what they call a brush marker this side on these and they don't smell. The alcohol markers of course do. I haven't tried them yet, um, I might do a picture with them in a bit and just so you can see what the alcohol markers are like they're all the same, they all look the same, they're just um, different colours but they're the same colours in both sets but one's alcohol and one's not. So they've got a black barrel with a normal nib and a sorry a normal nib and a chisel nib so it's the one end um and nice little click and there's the the other that i only literally bought these today which is um so i haven't tried them yet but like i said this four colours, the other one's down there, it's a black one and that one and four different colours there and it actually does show you them on the side what colours they are so there you go, uh, black, purple, red and yellow and green, blue, pink and an orange and if you look it is the, the same, pretty much the same shades as on the watercolour markers so we'll try those out soon I got some more dress, distress ink because I want it for uh, a picture I'm doing uh, for the background I do have vintage photo but I have a big big one of that so if I find it I'll show you because so, vintage photos are the one I'm likely to use most because of that so that's the size I got for that and these are the mini ones so I got I think this is pack eight I think they call it pack eight yes um so it is I'm gonna have to look, ripe persimmon crushed olive tumbled glass and dusty concord so I thought oh, I like those colours and I like the blue and I like the red and with that as well I might mix them um, and I'll practice it before I actually do it on on the uh, thing and the final thing I got I don't think it'll actually fit under the camera is I got the 200 set of the Hoo Hoo markers which was my big spend for the month but by treat so they're very nice I have used them a little and have swatched them and yeah they're very nice I like them so yeah that's all the supplies I bought but we'll have a quick look at some colouring books now I think it's about 13 or 14 I'm not sure let me just see there's three there four five six seven eight nine oh, oh eleven I thought it was more than that one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, oh no, eleven. That's fine. And three of them were free. I am a member of the Ava Brown launch team. So whenever they launch a new book, I get a, a PDF of it. So I'm going to show you them because I am colouring in these a lot. 
So this one was Secret Garden 2. Now the pictures are in different order than they're actually in the book because I just literally take them out to colour and I don't worry about putting them in the right order but they're really sweet. I mean look how cute that is. So I, yeah, I've already, you'll see some of my coloured pictures from these books at the end of the month. So I've got that one and I got, I don't know if I put anyone out this week, Cute Ocean. Now you'll see this stuff on the back of this because I misprinted the first book and then I went and reprinted this one. So this is Cute Ocean <laughs> and they are lovely, lovely pictures. If you do want me to ever flip through one of these, I'm quite happy to do it. Just let me know. And the third one is Country Spring. Which is funny. Now, when you get the PDF like this, as part of the it doesn't come with the covers. You can see there's a mark on this one. That's just where it's been on the table. And these are all like really pretty flowers and scenes in a farmyard or a garden. You know, like a shed. And they're just really simple. And loads of apples off an orchard tree and and so on. And uh, it's just like little snapshots of life in the garden. I think it's really, really sweet. I really like it. So those, those three, and I have been colouring in those. So you'll be seeing some of those finished pages. I'm still, I'm working on my third one from Country Spring at the moment. So you're, hopefully I'll finish that before the end of the month. Um, now, I got, I saw this book on somebody's channel. I can't remember who it was, but I had to get it. 300 mandalas, at Sa uh, expanded collection, Sally Berry. I thought, wow, I'm gonna put this probably next to my bed and just do it in bed at night I can do it with the light off not with the light off I mean with the night light on <laughs> my bedside light on and just have a quick color they are just I thought wow I've got to have that when I saw it so I went and I just got it and I'm, I'm really pleased with it so I really love this I think it's fantastic I've already done I think three or four <laughs> I did loads so, <laughs> so that's uh, uh Sally Berry 300 mandalas that's a big book. I'll probably take that on hold even more. Uh, second book Jade Summer put out this year, and they've only put out two, Steampunk Animals. There's a flip through this up on the channel. Um, I do like this. I'm going to do the... Um, oh, I love the seahorse as well. The squirrel. I like that dog. I've seen that dog done. He looks really good. The octopus is good. This squirrel. Because I think he, he reminds me of Squirrel Nutkin. And it, the reason is Squirrel Nutkin has the little goggles. I'm sure he does. I have that or I've imagined it. Um, so you can do him as a red squirrel, which is what I'm going to do. And uh, the bushy tail, though Nutkin doesn't have a tail, obviously. But it's really cute, actually. I know some people are waiting for the grayscale one, but they say they've got no plans yet. So I thought I'd just pick it up. As it is that one. And this one I saw actually advertised on Facebook and uh, something for gifts for, for book addicts and it's called Bookish, a colouring book for bookworms. Now there are some in here I really like and there are some I don't. So I like the ones with the books in it, like happiness is a cup and a, bo and a, and a book, which is fair enough. And they're very simple drawings, they're not going to take long to do. Um, it's a bit more simple than I would have liked. Books are my happy place, I quite like that, and the cat and the cup. <clears throat> and then you've got this really thing that says bookaholic and it's just like this really weird paisley pattern in the background and then that, that I quite like but again it, it's a lot simpler than I thought it would be I bought a beautiful wound grey scale by Ava Brown because you know I like these books they're really nice I've got a couple of Ava Brown ones obviously now I'm in the the launch party or the launch team again two of each picture I think these are just going to be so nice to colour and I do like a bit of grayscale. They're really, that's a nice one. In fact they're all really cool pictures. I mean look at that. So there's that one. Yes, okay. My, I'm not going to buy many colouring books. It's really got out the window this year. Uh, one I'm going to get every month anyway is Colouring Heaven because I have a subscription. This is Fairy Stories Special by Fabiana Atanasio. Now, you will have seen a flip through of this probably on the channel because it is on there. I haven't coloured in it yet, but I am planning on colouring it very soon using markers. And I love the Pinocchio ones. Uh, Peter Pan... Hansel and Gretel, I like the, the one of them go into the, when they arrive at the gingerbread house and of course Cinderella. I love it. Yeah, very nice. 
I think uh, there's some Alice ones in here, are they? I think. I think there's Alice in here. Snow White. Let me have a look. So, as you know, I'm not big on Alice, so. But Pinocchio. Snow White, Pinocchio, Peter Pan. Maybe I'm wrong. That Peter Pan one's cute. Hansel and Gretel. I like that Hansel and Gretel. I know Beauty and the Beast is. Cinderella. So it's just a selection of books from her. I don't know, maybe not Alice then. Nope. Yeah, Beauty and the Beast. That's pretty cool. So that's really nice. Can't wait to do a bit in that. One I've seen, everybody's got this book. And I got it because it was the last one that they had in stock at the time. And that, of course, is Creative Havens, a Rose, a Window, a Colouring Book. And I might try out those alcohol markers that I got from Lidl's on them. Because, you know, this is one that I haven't coloured in and I think it looks really really nice so I want to to have a go and I think the alcohol markers go nice in that I like I do like that the simple picture is not too bad so and then I got two of the two more of the Relax With Art, so they've got the holiday, what they call the holiday special, which they seem to put out every week, it seems to come out every month, anyway it's not, it's every three weeks I think, three months I think. Issue 38, which is Enchanted A Fantasy Journey, and it's all things like dragons and mermaids and um, an owl and a peacock. There is a Hansel and Gretel one in here, <coughs> dragon and a, a fairy. Uh, I'm assuming that's uh, Cinderella. So it's all, there's the troll under the bridge, the mermaid. So that's a quite nice one. Don't know who it's meant to be, if anybody, but yeah, really nice little pictures in that one of the uh, fantasy journey. So these ones I pick up in Tesco, I just go there and have to pick them up. I put them up when they come out. I usually pick them all up in one go. They haven't got a pocket one this time because I don't think they've got a new pocket one out. And this is issue 78 of the monthly. So that's I think that's quarterly and that's monthly and then there's a pocket which comes out a couple of times a year, I think. And you got a little dog. There's somebody going over a bridge. Uh, there's one in here, I think it's at the back, I really like that I want to do. And it's this one, the, the heart and the crown. I think it's just absolutely stunning. You've got the girl there, and the, the mum and the daughter, and the dog. I, I just think they're sweet. And the, the, the flowers in the, the welly boots. And the Easter bunny girls. Yeah, it's just a, a, yeah, they have some really nice pictures in these Relax With Arts. And yeah, I pick them up in Tesco when they come out. So that is my haul for March 2021. Now I know I've said that April's is going to be a very big colouring book haul because I get a bonus from work uh, at the end of this month because it's the end of the financial year. We do get one pretty much every year as long as they meet their targets. This year I think they've just given it to us because last year was hell. Um, I'm part time, so it's pro rated. It's left, you know, but I don't pay tax on it, so I can't complain. And I'm happy with it. And I said I'm going to spend so much of it on colouring books. I'm not buying any supplies because one thing I was going to buy with it was the, the hoo hoo, but I dipped into my savings for those. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to buy myself. I think it's 14 colouring books, and they're in my cart already. And that does not include Worlds of Wonder, which is I've already pre-ordered. So there we go. What do you think of that? So that is my colouring book haul. If you want to see a flip through of any of the books in this haul, just leave a comment down below which one you would like a flip through. I may have already filmed one and not put it up. There may be one already up, but just let me know and I will do it for you. It may end up that one of the pages will be coloured by then, but that's fine. Please let me know. I hope you've enjoyed this haul. If you have, please leave me a, a, a thumbs up. It really helps with the channel. Leave a comment down below. And don't forget, if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe because it really, really helps. And um, yeah, share it with your friends if they're into colouring. And I, I'll hopefully, I hopefully, well, I will be seeing you in the, right at the end of the month or just in the beginning of the new month with my completed pages. And of course, I'll also 
be seeing you um, very soon for a colouring book, not a colouring book, for my last colouring chat of the month and of course there'll be my um, booktube reading wrap up which is again over 20 books. So I'll stop waffling now and I'll see you soon. Bye everyone.